Hey everyone, hope everyone is great. It is an early, early Saturday morning, Sunday morning. How you doing? It is Sri Lankan Sammy, retired with mom and dad. Welcome to the Sunday morning live stream. I hope you, everyone is uh, great. Have my coffee. Oh, beautiful coffee. It is very early in the morning. It is 2.30 a.m. in Sri Lanka, 6 a.m. in Korea. And let's see, it is uh, 5 p.m. in North America. So I've, I decided to do a special early morning live stream for all of my friends in North America. Let's see. Let's get the music going here. There we go. Alright. So I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you are happy, healthy, and it is New Year's. It is Sri Lankan, sorry, Singhala and Tamil New Year. It is a uh, harvest. Usually at this time of year, the harvest, the first harvest of the year. So this is the New Year. I'm going back centuries, millennia. And uh, today, uh, after this, I'll be heading over to Colombo for a celebration. I'm going to the Cinnamon Grand Hotel for a celebration. So be sure to catch that. Click on the link down below. Join the Sri Lankan Sammy family and check out the video that is coming in uh, probably a week or so. So again, I do want to say thank you and lots of love to all of my new subscribers. Everyone who is joining from Sri Lanka, thank you for joining. I truly appreciate it. Lots of love. Please comment. Let me know what you think. It's a 20, 30 second bumper and then the outro, the ending part. So you know that the video starts and ends and then there's the, this little bumper. I, I updated that. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, where did I put it? There it is. 
it's the same video. It's just a little bit longer. And I changed the music. The music really, it was the original bumper that I had two years ago. And what happened was the music sucked. And I didn't know, I didn't, I couldn't edit in those days. I, I taught myself how to, how to add music and I, because I'm using a new app, because I learned how to use an app. So that app helps me. Now, I, this is just a temporary one as well because I am going to commission someone to make a new one. And that's going to take some time because I want to find someone who can make a new video, do what I want, Make it without having to spend an insane amount of money to make sure I put them up. Make sure I turn on the sound. Too. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look, quick look at this. It's 20 seconds. kind of video your video is about. So, yeah, what I've done is I've, I've improved using the online tools I have to, in, to improve the search engine optimization. So hopefully that will, or that has generated about life, the universe, and everything. Famous line from a, from a movie, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I think it was the third or fourth book in the series. So we're going to talk about that. Guys, a uh, couple things. Number one, you got to go see um, the new TV show, Fallout. Wow. Now, Fallout is a PC game that I've been playing. 
playing for years. And the, movie, the TV show, the Netflix show, only the first two episodes in, and it is amazing. I'm impressed. I'm very, very, very impressed with uh, the story and the, the, the graphics and everything like that in the story. It's really, really good. And the character is uh, the main the main character main bad guy is uh, what's he's, he's he's a really good actor and I can't remember his name but I've seen him in a lot Walton Gogin there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of the main characters in this show are really good uh, actors. That's my Facebook. <laughs> you don't want to see my Facebook. There we go. So this guy, Walter Goggins, he's he's really good at he plays the bad guy. You have uh, Michael Emerson from Lost. He's a really good actor. This is the main female character. The protagonist, as you would say, and then he's the bad guy. Uh, I've only seen one episode. I think he's also a main character. This guy is from, I can't remember I've seen him. Severance, yeah, Severance. He's a good actor too. So yeah, some really good actors in this show. You gotta, you gotta jump on this show, really good. The other one is um, Civil War just came out. Now I did get a chance to see, there's a cam out online, but I'm going to wait until the uh, DVD version comes out. Uh, that should be out in a little while. I'm looking forward to seeing that show, movie. What else am I watching that I'm really enjoying?
It's not a very long video, it's only about five minutes. Oh, it's actually 10 minutes long. Uh, about my life in, in Korea during, when I was working at a club. It was some of my favorite videos that I had made. It's a walk down memory lane from about six years ago. Um, so, okay, so we're gonna talk real quick today about I had this comment and someone mentioned it and I saw it again and then another friend mentioned it so I want to touch base on it really quickly um, so again if you are on the live stream please click the link uh, make a comment let me know where you're calling from and I'll be very happy to answer any questions you might have um, we're gonna be on the live stream today till at least an hour and a half because I have a class at 8 o'clock so I want to uh, uh, do that class and then I have a break and we'll get some breakfast and then I have another class and then I got to get ready to go to Colombo. We'll be in Colombo all day today, uh, Sunday, Sunday fun day. So the question that I had from, from you single? Am I not lonely? Why am I not interested in dating or having a long term being in a, being in a relationship and all that? And I think the simple answer is, is that I'm, I'm very happy being alone. But I am making some plans to have, and I, and I saw this term and I can't remember but it was inflationary relationship. It means inflationary re relationship. Basically, I would be interested in having a female friend uh, to cohabitate with. Someone who is like me, like-minded, but not in a relationship. Not even, maybe even just like a, if it could be a friendship, yes. Uh, but not to get into a relationship, absolutely not, because it's that relationship that causes stress and drama and problems. I want someone to split the rent, the travel, and the adventure. Um, you know, that would help improve my life, and someone I can share adventures with. So a friend. Now I have someone, you know, you guys have met her, Lady Sarah, and I'm trying to convince her, but that probably won't work out because she's still got years left. She's so much younger than me. She, you know, she's only in her 30s, early 30s. And um, she, she would, she would, uh, but she's interested in her career right now and that career is in Korea it's not uh, it can't move to online right now maybe in a couple of years we've discussed it and I'm going to continue to explore the option with her I have another friend but this is this one is a little bit different it is an ex-girlfriend from 12 years ago and she and I are so compatible. I think out of every woman I've ever dated, it's her and one other person who I would consider dating again. Maybe two others that I would consider dating again. Um, Lady B, who you guys have seen online before, my first real girlfriend from Canada. Now hopefully, I mean, you know this. I mean, you're watching it, so. If she's not online right now, she'll probably be joining this later on. Uh, but she knows, she knows that she and I are, are 
super compatible even today. We've been friends for 35 years. So, you know, we dated when I was in my 20s. Um, but we, we stayed friends for 35 years. So there's, there's something there. Um, then one of my last serious girlfriends in Korea, uh, a girl from Russia, the problem is she does not like warm weather. Um, she wants to come, but there's some family and obligations back home um, that are preventing her from leaving today. If she didn't have those, she would have left. She would have come to join me. We would have explored the op option. Because, I mean, it's been 10 years since I've seen her. And she's also young. She's also in her 30s. But she works online. She's looking to get away. She's looking to, uh, you know, she and I have also been friends for the last 10 years. Uh, but she has some commitments and obligations that I'm not going to get into it right now. I'll talk about it, but you know, there's, there's, there's an opportunity for that to happen. So people have asked me, so would I ever get married now? Not married. Would I be in a relationship with someone? I, I, I could be, if, but uh, as I've said it before, I have been alone for so, so long that it would take an extraordinary woman to make me want to uh, be in a relationship. So that's, that's, it's not easy. I've been single for 17 years. I, I said this many, many times. I've been in relationships, but nothing like super serious, nothing long term. from Kazakhstan who I dated for a year, but I explained about that relationship. I mean, she, she lived in Kazakhstan, I lived here. I saw her once every three weeks. But, she was the first woman I ever went on vacation with since, since I left Canada. So in 15 years, she was the first one I ever went on vacation with. Um, and even even the one from 10 years ago, that was just... We lived together for three months. We dated for about six months. And then she had to leave. Um, yeah, so we dated, and then we lived together for a short time, and then she had to leave. And she didn't come back. So, you know, that, that relationship ended because of, you know, distance. So, yeah, would I? No. I would, I would find a friend who is someone I have known for a long time, who's interested in doing what I'm doing, traveling. So, starting 2025, when I start to fully retire, um, that's what I'm going to need, is to find a friend who's interested in what I'm doing. And that's how I maintain my sanity, but, you know, just basic, you know, people always ask. Friends is a lot of work. So I like the fact that I get to see my friends every four months, every half a year. So I'm, you know, I'm going to back to Thailand in August, and it's looking like I'm going to extend that trip by one or two weeks because I'm going to have friends joining. So that is going to be great, and then I'm planning.
depending on Bali in February of the following year, of 2024, and then 2025, and then in the fall of 2025, uh, meeting my brother somewhere in East Asia, probably Singapore or Japan, to watch an F1 race for a week. In a week and then plus, right? Um, book that and, 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 and meet up with him. That'll be fun because we both enjoy that. Um, so, what else? Guys, let's uh, let's uh, take a step back and, and, and uh, I just want to, again, I want to thank those of you who are joining the live stream. Please click the link down below, make a comment, click like, uh, support the channel. And those who are, I want to say a huge shout out to you guys. Truly, truly support it. Uh, appreciate your support. Uh, it's just I'd like to see the little bell icon pop up on my phone or on my computer showing that someone has left a comment. I hop on that comment right away. So thank you, thank you for that. I truly really appreciate it. Um, get, get in there while you can. As the channel gets bigger and bigger, I'm probably not going to have the time to answer every comment. And I hope that that happens one day. I really hope that happens. Support the channel, please click the link. Buy me a coconut, as it says down below. I will support the local farmers. You guys have seen the videos of the local farmer that we buy our vegetable and fruits from. I'm going to be doing an in-depth, multi-part video. Uh, I gotta, I gotta script it out because I want to make sure I don't do it just on the fly, which is what I do with most videos. I don't script my videos. I just talk about a topic, um, but I want to script this video and I want to get some details and it's going to be on cost of living for 2024, uh, what's it like in Sri Lanka after the uh, financial crisis, uh, what, what is it for you guys, how can you guys, uh, what can you guys expect here, so hopefully gotta get on to it. I have some videos in the pipeline. Uh, getting my credit card. Uh, Mom getting Netflix. This is a story you guys are gonna love. It's hilarious. We're gonna be doing some charity work. So if you truly wish to support uh, some charity, I'm not asking for it, but I, I, have, I, I have had some of you reach out and say you want to support i'm going to be doing this anything you do i will ma you know match as well but i'm putting out a hundred dollars to support uh, one or two uh, uh, children uh, for the year uh, for school supplies you know uh, shoes uh, 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 backpack uh, books 
pencils, those kinds of things that they need, uh, paper, erasers, pencils, those kinds of things, stationary supplies that they need for a year's worth of school. Uh, you know, a, a lunch box with plastic, you know, water bottle, and plastic dish, things like that to help them uh, uh, with their school. So that's happening. Those of you who wish to support can choose to contact me directly. Uh, click the link, send me an email at sam.palpola at gmail.com. The, the link is in my profile or send me a YouTube message or Facebook or Instagram, whatever you choose. Uh, you guys can reach out to me and uh, uh, we can figure out a way that you can support that. So we're traveling up country next weekend. Uh, it is just insanely hot. It is three o'clock in the morning and it is 29 degrees Celsius in, in my room. Outside it is 26. bad right now because it is nighttime. 28, 29 is okay for me. The last like couple nights ago we got down to 26. I had no fans on. And I had to wear a shirt to sleep in because it was a little chilly. I don't know how I'm gonna handle up country because it is cold considering the temperature that I'm living at right now. You know 18 degrees at night and 24, 26 during the day. So I don't know how I'm going to react to those temperatures. Uh, I was up country earlier last year, but it was during the summer. Sri Lanka's... Uh, no, it was. When did we go? I can't remember when we went. But was it... It was cool. I had to wear a jacket at night or a shirt and, and socks to sleep in. And I had to have a, a, a blanket, not a blanket, but a cover, which I, I, I have a cover. I've never used a cover in this house in two years. I sleep without cover. It's just too hot. And I have to sleep with a fan. I mean, this fan runs 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. I'm surprised it hasn't been broken yet. So, um, yeah, we're going up country. Um, so that'll be a nice uh, break. And we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue working. We rented an Airbnb up up in the hills. But I'm gonna work. But I'm gonna take a couple days here and there, and we're gonna go see some waterfalls and go see some local tourist uh, things around there. Uh, I'm gonna wrap up my uh, medical checkup, so I have to go for one more blood test next week, and then when I get back from vacation, and then the following weekend I am going to visit the doctor, the, the oncologist or urologist or whatever, and, I, and he's going to look at my blood work, and then I'm going to go to a GP to talk about my cholesterol and all of that. What kind of medications I should be on? Because right now I'm on zero medication. Uh, I'm on a low salt diet, or no salt diet. The, the cook makes a separate meal for me with no salt. Uh, and uh, I can taste the difference with no salt. There's really low flavor, but she uses spices to spice it up, but not salt. my cholesterol, my blood pressure. I take my blood pressure every day, blood pressure down. Uh, the test results, you know, obviously cholesterol and triglycerides are a little high. I gotta exercise more. It's just something I hate doing. Ugh. And then we're gonna look at testosterone replacement therapy. I, I've talked about it before. It's something I'm going to look at. I'm just 
discuss with my doctor. My friend Alex, I've talked about him before. My friend Alex from Thailand, you guys gotta check out his channel, Alex Bam Bam. And Miley's story, him and his girlfriend from Thailand. You guys have seen his, I've met him. You guys have seen his videos. Me in his, him in my video, and you gotta check out his channel. Click his channel, Alex Bam Bam and Miley Story. Click their channel, join, subscribe, let them know I sent you, alright? Uh, they are a great, great channel. They, they're, they're a hilarious couple. If you like my channel, you like that. Um, I have had some new subscribers uh, ask questions. Why are we jumping into some of the questions? video a lot of comments on the cost of living in Sri Lanka and that video is over a year old and you know how much does it cost to hire a home cleaning person again it depends on how many times a week how much how big your house is etc 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 but I mean it could start at $50 a month from once a week and go up depending on how much cleaning you want how many people there's 600 enough to live there as a single person yes even 400, even 200. Do they speak English? How's the food? Yes, they speak English. No, they don't speak English. The food is good or it sucks. I, I, I can't give you an, an answer. It's all based on you. On me, everyone speaks English. But I also speak Sinhala. For me, the food is okay. The food I get at home is great. The food I get when I go out to eat is great. The food that I would get on the street probably isn't good, but I haven't eaten it. So again, it's it's personal. All of the questions that I get, a lot of them are very personal. So the answer is watch my video and see what I feel about each of those questions. Right? Then you can get an idea of like 
have a baseline and then you can go and you know come and figure that out but you would get a baseline from me now i'm not gonna i can't answer every single person's preference like you know oh how was that restaurant oh the food is great oh i went there the food sucked well i think that's your personal preference right so how much is health care right? same question from the same person same series of questions you know how much is health care it's free or it's a million dollars it all depends on how sick you are. If you want to line up and wait at the public, private hospital, a public hospital, or pay for the private hospital. Uh, great questions from Life Joy Adventure Vlogs, a new, a new subscriber. Hopefully you're a subscriber. Um, talking about my recent trips. So they were watching some of the recent videos and commented that on Sri Lankan Airlines. Yeah, Sri Lankan Airlines... You know, unfortunately, the flag carrier of Sri Lanka is not doing well. Their airplanes are really old. I was very lucky that on my outward flight to Thailand, I flew on one of the le new leased airplanes. And you guys saw that video. It was an A330-300, brand, brand new from Air Belgium that was leased. Now, Sri Lankan Airlines has at least three more airplanes to replace some of the older airplanes that they cannot repair or are not cost effective to repair because uh, they're like 20 years old and the inside cabins are not updated and you know, they're rough. But I'll tell you this, the staff are great. They are so great. I absolutely love. Now, I fly business class, so maybe I get treated a little bit better. I talk with the, I talk with the uh, staff, so you know, I, I I have a better interaction, I guess, than most. Um, you know, my my ticket says doctor. So I get treated maybe a little bit better. I don't know, but I have never had an issue. Now, this person also commented that their flight was delayed by 12 hours because of a broken part. I mean, that happens. And that's not the airline's fault. Something breaks, they have to fix it. Now, they don't have planes sitting around just waiting, right? So that's for your safety. Now, could they have an extra plane? Yes. Could they um, have better maintenance? Yes, but then, you know, that costs a lot of money. And uh, the airline, this airline does not have it. They're in big, big trouble. If things don't turn around in the next six months, they're, they're either have, gonna go bankrupt or gonna have to be sold. to retire and loves traveling etc so he, he, he's been watching a whole bunch of my videos and really enjoys it so I thank you um, but the anomaly you know you, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, to comment and watch but um, I can't really answer each one of your questions there are a lot that you have asked are very personal for, uh, not private but what I mean is personal to the point where it's like preference you know <clears throat> um, and your last question you know how do I retire there if I don't make 1500 a month I don't know I don't know the answer to that um, play the lottery you, you need to follow some of the advice that I have made on the channel. Um, you know, work harder, cut
cut out, you know, sacrifice for a year or two. Don't go on vacation. Don't buy anything. You know, eat, eat rice and chicken for a year. Um, you know, cut out all your costs. Live in a shoebox. Live with family. Um, don't drive. Don't buy a car. Don't buy clothes. Don't get haircuts. Don't do anything. Sacrifice for a year or two and save every penny and invest it. Um, and then that will um, help you on the path to retirement. That's what I would do. Can you do it? Thank you so much guys for sticking around and watching. I do see you guys watching the live streams after the fact. And I gotta love you for doing that, you know. Um, let me know what time is good for the live live stream, for you to join live the live stream. Because I like interacting. I do this because I want an opportunity for you guys to engage with me. So let me know what's a good time for you. Um, I am um, work, work. There's, there's. I'm, I'm gonna talk to you today as well, guys. About next week. So you guys are, you guys know that I'm retired with mom and dad, and dad is getting close to his 90th. has to go and then I have to move 
I will probably move. I'll stay in the Colombo area. I will get a small, small condo or a small villa uh, that I can. I will buy a house. I will buy a house or villa or something like that. I don't want to rent. Maybe for the first year I'll rent until I can find a place I really, really, really like. Um, I don't know enough about the areas in Colombo where I would want to live. Um, do I want to live in the rural area or do I want to live downtown? And the problem is. I don't know. I would like to live downtown. As I retire and reduce my workload, I'm gonna want to go out more, meet friends, and do you know, make friends and do things. Um, because I won't have a driver anymore. I mean, well, I'll have the car. Will I drive? Down south to the southern side of Colombo instead of right now we're on the northern side. I don't think, you know, I haven't even thought of it. I haven't even thought about it. I, I want to be closer to mom and dad, and, and they're looking at some homes down south, in the southern side of the city. So, and then on the other thing is, is that I want to live outside of Colombo for short periods of time, so like one month, two months, live in Welligama, up north, different different places. So I gotta look at, you know, look at that. That's a year away though, that's a year away, or two. I mean, this house is paid for, it's all, everything is taken care of it. Uh, I can stay here for the rest of my life if I wanted to, but it's such a huge house. There's just no way I would stay here alone. So I see that there's a lot of you joining the live stream. Guys, why don't you just click on the link? Let me know. I uh, click uh, on the chat and say hi. Let me know where you're from. And welcome to hour two of the live stream. We're only going to be on for another half an hour, 45 minutes, because I got to get ready for a class. Uh, I have uh, an online class I have to do at. Uh, eight o'clock so I want to uh, prepare for that class so we're going to be on for about another half an hour so got another half an hour to say hi and chat and talk so please click the link click the chat room and say hi um what else is going to happen um I'm planning for uh sorry uh Monday or Tuesday Yeah, on Sunday, one week from tomorrow, one week from today, I'm buying my tickets and booking the hotel for um, Thailand. So I'm gonna get online with Lady Lady, uh, Lady Sarah and we're gonna buy the tickets. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we buy the right tickets. So the booking, because I wanna make sure we both land at the same time. I found this amazing website. Guys, you come, there is always, Google is your friend. I'm gonna tell you that, Google is your friend. My gosh, this website, I couldn't believe when I found this website, because what I was doing was, in the past, I was doing it all manual, not manual. I was doing two different, I would do two different web pages, like Skyscanner, one for me and one for her, to try to figure out which flight would land at the same time. But there's an app for that. It's called tripmatch.org. It's the easiest way to reunite abroad. Multi-origin flight search to find places 
to reunite with friends and relatives abroad. So if you live in Miami and she lives in Beijing and you want to meet in Rome, this is the website for you. So, for example, we put in the airport. I found it's easier to put the airport. Pick the date you want to meet. Lady, M, Lady, Lady B is online guys, uh, so I just want to say hi, and uh, you can rewind this for Mama Helen and say hi to her. So it only works when you enter the airport. You can't put a city or anything like that. And switch to US dollars. You want the time difference to be, you can choose what's the time difference on arrival, on arrivals, not departures. So, and there, it's done. So, we both land at 5.30 p.m. Look at that. We both land at 5.30 in crap. And we both depart. Here's the 
live stream and at the bottom you see this red line and I can rewind it even when it's live and go back to the beginning of the and watch the live stream from whenever I want even even right here even this is this is another browser I've opened up and you can see the live stream there now when you go to you go to my YouTube channel to watch a live stream. I'm not that much of a noob. And noob is spelled N-O-O-B, okay? Not N-U-B-E, you noob. <laughs> so, uh, it is uh, Sri Lankan uh, Sinhalese and Tamil New Year today. So, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, Mama Helen. Hope you're well and enjoying your day. Sunday, uh, Saturday night. I am almost done because, like I said, I have to start getting ready for a class. It is 3.30 in the morning here in Sri Lanka, uh, 7 o'clock in the morning in Korea, and 6 a.m. in the East Coast. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Uh, Terry, welcome to the party, brother. Hope you are well. Happy New Year to you too. Thank you so much, Terry. Our friends from our another super supporter from Canada. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to say a very special shout out to you, Terry. I'm wishing you and your family a very happy, happy New Year. Uh, all the best. Uh, thank you so much again for all of your support and love. I truly appreciate it. Um, SL Praz, thank you so much for joining. A new uh, subscriber. Hopefully you're a subscriber. Thank you so much. Do more videos on how to retire in Sri Lanka and be financially free through passive income. Wow. You're asking a lot there, brother. <laughs> Uh, how to retire in Sri Lanka? Well, you know, go check out my videos from two years, from the last two years. That's how to retire in Sri Lanka. I, I, that's all I talk about. I mean, my channel is retired. You know, uh, I'm going to do more. Um, it, again, I, I've talked about this. It's not easy to give a step-by-step -step instruction because my life is different than yours. So my situation is going to be different than yours. But I will tell you through my videos um, what I did and how I did it, okay? So, but I don't want to continuously talk about the same subject that I've already talked about in previous videos. So I, I will touch base on a few things, but check out some of my older videos. There's tons of them over the last two years talking about retirement, how I did it. All right, uh, how I did it. Passive income, I'm constantly talking about that. I have videos about my investment plan here in Sri Lanka, how I did it, how, I'm, how I work, um, and how you can too. Uh, so it's really complex. It's not an easy topic to discuss because it's different and it's personal for each person. So, uh, and a very happy new year to you too. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, 
Terry, again, uh, truly appreciate it. Love. And as Terry is saying uh, to you, SL Praz, um, there he's he's been a, 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 a strong channel supporter, and he's my number one uh, VIP supporter. Um, so he knows all the videos. Um, and I tr again, I truly appreciate the love and the support that you're giving. I want to give you blessings and praise for the Happy New Year to you especially. Uh, thank you for joining. I hope that you subscribed. I, I really appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. And if you wish to support the channel, please, please watch a commercial. I, I would really appreciate that. That helps the channel. Uh, uh, so Lady P is the first time she's using the word noob. And where it's an act, it is an acronym. It is an acronym, and it means a uh, person who's inexperienced in a particular sphere of activity. Um, it means newbie. It comes from newbie. It's not an acronym. Uh, it means newbie. N e w b i e. A new person. Um, I don't think it. It comes from any acronym. Um, I'm just looking online here and it doesn't say where it comes from. But yeah, it's N-O-O-B. And she said it was the first time that she's ever used that word. You know, she's my age, so. <laughs> and she's not internet savvy, so she's not a, she's not a internet user as much as I am, you know. People, people are constantly surprised at how internet savvy I am, and I'm 55 years old, that's because I'm a tech guy. I love tech. Um, so, uh, SL Press, thank you so much. I truly appreciate, like I said, your support and your time. You know, there's so many channels out there, so many YouTubers, uh, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Uh, Terry, I hope everything's going well in Canada these days. Uh, I, I, I kind of caught some news on this new carbon tax. Wow, what's some crazy crap going on over there? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not back. I just, so, I, I, I catch the news once in a while. Um, you know, um, not because I watch the news, but because I have Facebook friends in Canada who post things, and I'm like, that's really going on? Jeez, uh, that's, you know, just insane. But, yeah. Wow. So anyway, I am going to be heading over to the Cinnamon Grand Hotel uh, with Mom and Dad today. Uh, we're going to go early in the morning, like 9 a.m., for the uh, Singhala New Year's um, festivities and have lunch there as well. Uh, hopefully the weather will be a little cooler. It's going to be cloudy, so hopefully things will be uh, a little bit uh, nice for a day event. And then I got to come back home. No work today in the evening. Normally I do have classes, but not today. Uh, so I will be taking it easy, going to bed early, because I have I have classes tomorrow. It's going to be a busy week next week. Um, I have to pack uh, Friday night after uh, after after class. I have to pack the computers up and everything. Not all of them. I'm the laptop and one or two screens take up with take up country with me heading up country Terry we're gonna head up up we're gonna go up country on Saturday morning next week so next week's live stream will be from up country so you guys will see that I'm gonna try to do it early morning again it will be probably 7 a.m. Sri Lankan time next Sunday. 
that's the time I have free because I have a class. So that's the time I'm gonna try to get it done. Or let me know, either 7 a.m. Sunday morning or 6 p.m. Saturday night. 6 p.m. Saturday night or 7 a.m. Sunday morning. Let me know which one's good for you. Yeah, kitty butt. Time for some milk rice, Terry. Um, and he was commenting also as well uh, on my, I'm assuming my statement about uh, the carbon tax and the things that are going on in the financial side of living in Canada. He says, I'm kicking myself already. I'm, I'm assuming that's, you know, still living in Canada at this time um, so yeah I'm I'm uh, I'm looking forward to a nice uh, nice buffet today um, it's my cheat day um, and get some delicious food and I'm gonna be obviously I'm gonna be doing a video so not to worry Yeah, 7 a.m. Sunday is probably the best for my uh, North American friends. Uh, I think I'm gonna start doing two live streams, um, depending on my schedule. I think I'm going to do a Wednesday live stream and a Saturday and a Sunday live stream. So I'll do a Sunday early morning live stream like I am right now uh, for my North American friends because right now in North America it's Saturday night so it is uh, 6 p.m. Saturday night so I think this is a good time for my North American friends uh, in, in the East Coast uh, evening time for them so like not an early morning I think an 7 to 9 a.m. live stream is a good time for my North American friends. They can come in those two hours. Uh, and for my Sri Lankan family, uh, I think a Wednesday night Sri Lankan time. Uh, you know, do two live streams. Or I could do a, a Saturday night live stream for my Sri Lankan friends and a Sunday live stream for my uh, North American friends. I mean, it'll be duplicated. I'll be, I'll be talking the same things. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out of the house to go up country, Terry. Um, I mean, not really going to do much because I'm going to be, I'm going to have a full work schedule. There's, there's not going to be anything special. I just, you know, Saturday and Sunday, we're going to go out. Nighttime, I'm going to go out, get Desmond to drive me into the city to hang out. Mom and Dad. Well, maybe we'll go for dinner and they will go back to the apartment and I will stay in the city and just hang out. Uh, I can take a tuk-tuk back. It's not that big of a deal. And then um, we're going to, during the daytime, on two of the days I've booked off, we're going to go uh, uh, see some sites, waterfalls and things like that. So, yeah, it'll be a nice little vacation uh, and then when I come back I, I think I'm gonna head down south for a month in June yeah in June I'm gonna head down south for a month so when I get back I'm gonna take a weekend and go with Desmond on one day uh, door knocking in some places to find a nice villa because I'm not gonna look online it's just, it's just ridiculous. I'm just going to go down and knock on some doors down there and find a nice place. Anyways, uh, Lady B is saying noob, N-O-O-B, should be spelled N-E-W-B. And uh, who am I to argue with the internet, okay? You don't tell. <laughs> anyway, uh, listen, I... I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell it to you on If you ran into Ellis Swerd, that would be amazing. Who is El Ellis? I don't know who Ellis Swerd. 
Oh, it's another YouTuber. I, I, you know, I've, uh, I've been uh, around when, when I see these guys. I haven't seen. Um, yeah, he's in, he's in Sri Lanka right now. I've never, I, I haven't seen his videos, but I, he, he's in Sri Lanka right now. Oh, he's got some good subscribers. He's got almost 100,000. That's nice. His videos do well. Wow, oh, that's good. But, yeah, I, 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 I haven't bumped into a... Uh, yeah, I, I, I haven't bumped into a YouTuber yet, a famous YouTuber. Yeah, I, I'll watch some of the, I'll watch some of his videos. I'll watch some. Of them. I was at, I was at um, having brunch, and I've had people come up and say hi to me, who know me, who are sus subscribers, but I had one guy, and I was, I, I mentioned I was, yeah, I'm doing a YouTube, I'm a YouTuber, he says, oh yeah, I've seen some of your videos, he was just a casual YouTuber, YouTube watcher, I don't know if he was a subscriber, but I asked him to subscribe, you know. Um, I'm still kind of shy to be a YouTuber. I'm like, I'm walking around with the camera and I'm talking and everything like that. And I'm, I don't want like people to see that I'm videoing because I don't want them to be upset or, oh, I don't want to be in a video. Or, you know, I'm just, I try not to get people. I try not to put cameras in near people. I'm always on the side and everything like that. And if you see me walking down the street, you'll always see people in the background like watching like this. Like, what is that guy doing? <laughs> so I try to not be intrusive. And I should be more like out there so that when people see, they, they don't feel shy to approach and talk and ask questions and maybe become subscribers. But I try to keep the... the, the, the the, view, the, the, the filming quiet.
talk to me about it is, is strange because it's a new thing. I mean, I remember when I was uh, making videos in Korea and I had people, the first people to come up to me and say, oh yeah, you're sort of, you're Itaewon Sammy, I, I follow you. And I'm like, wow, someone is actually connecting with me. And that's why I do the live stream is because I want to connect with you guys. I want to have that personal interaction with you. So um, thank you so much again, guys. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. It's just, it, it makes it so much fun, especially my regulars like Terry and Lady B. I truly appreciate it. You guys are the best. Darren, who's not on today. Um, Coming back to Sri Lanka, uh, I truly appreciate you guys. Uh, SL Pass, brother, I mean, it's really great that um, you joined, you know, I truly appreciate it. Terry, you know, you, you, you're, you're always too kind. I'm just, I'm so looking forward to the day where we can meet uh, when you come. Isn't it funny, Terry, that I don't script my videos? If you watch my YouTube, I do not script anything. It's just, and they're not edited. I just talk for 10 minutes straight. When there's a transition, it's when one video ends and a new video starts. But I don't edit my videos. I just talk for 10 minutes straight. Now, I used to be on radio. I used to be on television. So I, I understand talking to a camera, right? You know, you look at the camera and you talk to the camera. But what it is, is, is that when I'm doing my videos, I'm talking to, to you, to, to one person. I'm not talking to a channel. And I'm very comfortable in talking. I was a salesman my whole life. Uh, so <clears throat> I talk from life experience. So thank you so much for that, those, those words. It, it means a lot. Um, common sense is not common. It's just, and it's not sense. It's just, this is what I did. And one plus one equals two. So, you know, I mean, if I, what is everybody living their lives. Well, they're living their lives to pay their bills. Well, why are they paying their bills? Well, because they're in debt. Well, why do they do jobs that they hate? Well, because they're in debt. Well, let's get rid of the debt. I did that. Now I'm happy. Why are people angry all the time? Why are they fighting all the time? Well, because they're in relationships. Well, I got rid of relationships. You know, this is why it's not common sense. It's just, you know, what I've... Um, what I've experienced. Wild Carlos appeared. Wild Carlos. Let me try to guess who Wild Carlos. Oh, Wild Carlos appeared is another YouTuber. For someone who doesn't like the internet, you watch a lot of YouTube, Lady B. <laughs> Wild Carlos appeared. Um, another YouTuber. See, the thing is, is that a lot of these YouTubers who are foreigners, who are coming to Sri Lanka, do the same thing every single time and he's no longer in Sri Lanka they they go to the same places they go and they talk the same thing that's not what I want to do with my YouTube channel what I want to do is I want to talk about living here retired here how to live here, how to retire, what I've done in my life, how I live. A lot of these foreigners who come and do YouTube here, you know, I investigated Sri Lanka's craziest harbor. And they've all done that. Uh, eating food, um, you know, same places they go to the same places and do the same thing Ella train how many videos are there on the Ella train eating in golf face meeting uh, you know the Sri Lanka is not what I expected you know these are all travel people you know for young people 
and it's the same thing over and over again. It's the same thing. Everything I've watched, I see the same thing. And, um, you know, th those aren't my videos. Like, I, I'm going to go on a trip next week, and I'm going to go to the waterfalls, but it's not going to be all about the waterfalls. It's going to be about that day. Oh, by the way, we went to the waterfalls. So Lady B is saying uh, that those two channels, they're funny because of their personality and their delivery. And that's true, but um, the content is, they, I, I, I see a lot of these YouTubers and I see that they do the same thing. They're travel bloggers, but they kind of picked up the personality and the style to differentiate themselves from other travel bloggers. They're all the same. So I don't want to be like that. I want to be a lifestyle blogger. That's that's what I think I am. Um, this is more, I've said this before, this is more of a diary for me. This is a digital diary and um, that's what I'm good. That's how I feel it is. And she also mentioned something which is interesting. She said, if my uh, vlogs were scripted, they would be inauthentic. And she gives a big boo, which is true. A lot of people have said they enjoy, uh, and Terry has said this a lot as well, they enjoy how just authentic my videos are. So Terry, what are you saying here? Is there so many people in Canada and so much debt these days trying to keep up with the Joneses? I don't have fancy stuff, but I like to stay grounded. And that's true. Uh, that's true. Uh, uh, Lady B, that's a cute term, eh? <laughs> um, I, 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 yeah, I, I understand that point. Um, you know, I was a victim of that, you know, buying the things and getting into credit card debt, housing debt, car debt, you know, that's good debt, right? <laughs> um, I'm just reading what Lady B is writing on her email. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm so glad I got out of debt. I've been debt free now 12 years. Just, you know, the one mistake I made was that when I worked in Korea, I didn't save any money. That it took the last four years for me to start saving money. I should have done it right when I got to Korea, but I, I didn't work as hard as I could have worked. And, um, I only work to pay my bills and to save for vacations and things like that. And then I stopped working. I would take months off. And then when I did make money, I spent it. I didn't save. Uh, now I'm saving a huge amount of money. Right? So, yeah. Getting... If I had listened to my parents when I was younger, I could have retired by the time I was 35. I didn't. You know, those are, those are things that every child, every young person goes through, not listening to your parents. But number one thing is, if I can tell anyone anything ever, is don't get into debt. And I just told that to one of my cousin's children, my second cousin. Uh, he's like 16, getting ready to graduate high school, go to university in Canada or, or Europe or something like that. And I'm telling him, you know, go have fun, but don't get into debt. Sacrifice for a few years, study, get a good job, and then don't get into debt. Work your job for a few years, save every penny, and then retire. And then you can be one of those 35-year-old, 40-year-old guys traveling the world in private jets, doing whatever you want, whenever you want. Not some punk 
excuse my language, punk ass little kid trying to impress people with, you know, the limo and the champagne at the VIP room. Okay? That's not that's not impressing anyone. Okay? When you're 35, 40, or 55, and you can buy a business class ticket or a first class airplane ticket in a five-star hotel without thinking about it. That's making it. So that's that's what it is all about. Lady B is saying she watches those two YouTube channels uh, because uh, she likes them and she only watches those. And, and she and I and I'm saying and she says you know I I gotta like them because she doesn't like many people, which is true. I don't know how or why she fell in love with me. I have absolutely no idea. All right, I am so not. Maybe, I, I don't know her type, but I'm so... When people saw... When people... Here, here's the funny thing. When people saw her, who knew me, and then they said, that's your girlfriend? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like... They look at me, they look at her, they look at me, and they're like, how? I can see it in their heads. They're like, how? Let me go. Guys, you, you, you really don't know. I'm 20 years old. 20 years old, and she is, um, she is six foot tall, you know, 180 centimeters tall, very thin, uh, blonde curly hair natural, blue eyes natural, curves everywhere natural, you know, very uh, thin, but She's got the curves, uh, long legs, and loves to show off her legs, and was just an effervescent personality. And she said the same thing. She goes, her friends would see me with her and then say, who's that? And she goes, that's my man. And they're like, you know, I, I was, I looked different back in those days too. I mean, I, I, I was, I was handsome, uh, but she, I, I dated up, I mean, she ruined me for every woman after because she was stunningly beautiful, and you still are, right? I haven't seen a picture of you recently. So she says uh, about my previous comment about sacrifice, if someone is being thrown into a volcano for a good proper rage, she goes, make good and intelligent choices, absolutely, absolutely true, on the second part, yes. But what I meant by sacrifice is, in today's world, uh, it's not easy to get a good job or something like that. It's not easy to, to, to be successful early on. So, so the flip side of it is, is sacrifice, right? Don't buy rent the luxury condo. Don't go on vacation. Don't do that if you're only making a certain amount of money. Don't live beyond your means, which goes to your statement of making intelligent choices. Absolutely, right? And and that goes hand in hand. What I what I mean to say is, make intelligent choices by sacrificing what society tells you to get into debt. You know, they always say, you know, a house and a car is good debt. No, it's not. Debt is debt. Okay. You don't have to have a car. You don't have to have a house. Right? Because that ties you down to that job. Because you have to have that job to pay that debt. And when that job comes to you and says to you, I need you to work extra, you, you, you don't say no. Guys, uh, I'm sorry. i got to get ready to wrap up the show today. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone. Before we go, uh, I want to say thank you to uh, Lady B for joining. You are always... <laughs> Why do you call me cute? Huh? Why do you call? She goes. She goes. Uh, I. I really need to. If I want a, a, a boost of my ego, I only need to talk to her. I you know. And and also to my Russian ex girlfriend who I'm chatting with. She was telling me just yesterday. Um, why she dated me, why she got together with me. 
she when she first saw me, she said she made some comments about it. And Lady B is saying, uh, I was hella cute, braided hair, and a Canadian tuxedo with a colorful tie. Is the first time she met me at my club. Uh, I had just come back from Sri Lanka after six weeks in Sri Lanka and had gotten my hair braided. And I'm 20, 21 years old. And she's exactly the same age. We're six weeks apart in age. So I just remember seeing her and just looking at her and just saying, wow. And uh, yeah, that was the start of it. That was the start of it. We had great times. But yeah, my, my ex even said the same thing. She goes, when she saw me, it was the eyes. And she says that when she looked at me. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Good ego boost. I want to say thank you to everyone. Terry, brother, lots of love to you for the support. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm talking to mom about the charity. We're going to, we're going to set that up for like next week. Okay. So hold on for that. Uh, thank you again to everyone who joined to my new um, viewer, SL Praz. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, I know Darren is going to be watching a little bit later. Thank you again, brother. Truly appreciate it. And everyone else, all of my Sri Lankan brothers and sisters, lots of love and happy new year to you all. We'll see you guys next time. Stay well, stay happy, learn to live life. Don't let life live you. Be good to each other and love everyone. We'll see you guys all on the other side next week. Sunday morning, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Sri Lankan time. Um, Sunday morning from Up Country. We'll see you guys on the other side. Thank you again, everyone. Good night. Lady B, Helen, good night.